Well, welcome along to number seven of Your Story is Our Story. And those of you who are following us in the story, you'll realize that what we're trying to do is bring some of our customers in just to do a quick interview to let you find out what they're doing and how they're doing it. So you maybe pick up a few hints and tips. And if you haven't uh, indulged in a trailblazer yet, it'll give you a wee bit of an idea of how you can use it and what you can do. Interesting here uh, is Daryl from Cousins Catering. Well, thanks, Daryl, for coming along. Thank you, Thomas. We're going to focus on, Daryl has just finished an agricultural show uh, here called the Balmoral Show. And uh, rather than go broader than that, what we'll do is just chat a wee bit about the show, what he did, how he did it. Because a lot of other people think, you know, a, 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 a charcoal barbecue is just about burgers. Uh, well, actually, Daryl's the opposite direction. He's going into primal cuts, ribs, everything else, um, just to show you what you can actually do. And also the fact that the machine does burgers day in, day out, but it's not restricted by any stretch of your imagination. So just very quickly, Daryl, be keen to just find out, how did you find the show? How long did the show last? And give us an idea of what you did and how you did it and how the market responded to you. Yeah, so Bumwell show is four days long. Mm -hmm. They see roughly 120,000 visitors over mm -hmm. four days. I said we served a lot off that 120,000, <laughs> so we would. Um, we went very sort of what we'd say American style. Mm -hmm. We'd done brisket, ribs, wings, and then we used the fire tunnels to do wedges. Mm -hmm. We called them cowboy wedges, mm -hmm. top of barbecue pulled pork as well. Mm. Now, I have to say that your machine is the 600 Street Master. 600 Street Master, yeah. And the 600 Street Master is, is the 600 Grill Master with the first smoker unit on the back. Uh, so you're fully utilizing the front and back of the machine? Absolutely. The machine was set up, was, the smoker was running 24 hours a day. Right. You know, sort of before we'd finish up, we'd get all the meat in the smoker set up for an evening smoke. Mm -hmm. Have that all smoke come in in the morning, get all the smoke made out, mm -hmm. put the fresh lot in for during the day, hopefully to replen. At some point. So what was your longer burn? Of, what sort of stuff did you cook? What was the longest? The brisket. brisket. So we went over just over 100 kilo of brisket wow. in the four days. Wow. Um, that was sort of a, about eight, nine hour smoke. Right. So we were literally finishing up the show, letting it get up the temp, putting the brisket in first thing in the morning and get the brisket out, get it rested, get it checked, finished off on the actual coals. So actually what you're saying is the smoker unit didn't cool down? No, no not at all. Didn't have a chance. Wow. Wow. Didn't have a chance, four wow. days solid. We were packing it out the night before and we were coming out and sort of getting it in around the sort of 200, 225 yeah. Fahrenheit. Coming in the morning, and I, I don't think once it dropped below 200. Wow. So then, not amazing. once. Without opening it, just leaving it alone? Just leaving it alone. Wow. Then we've done the smoked wings. So one of the first things in the morning, all of me comes out and the smoked wings went in for an hour and a half, two hours. Then they were finished off over the hot barbecue. So it was a wow. really, really good thing about the smoker even when it was being open and emptied, yeah. it still retains our heat. Mm -hmm. You know, you get that door shut within a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things we did was we designed it specifically to be highly insulated. So understanding the fact that things you're not meant to do with smoking is open, yeah. the thing. But we know that with high levels of insulation on the door around this frame, it means that when you open it, all the heat's lost, it gets, it, it, it builds itself up almost before the meat gets a shock. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's one, and also because it's vertical, it means you've got this nice draw constantly, yep. very quickly back up to heat again. You compare the, the tiny footprint of a 600 Street Master to a food truck, yep. you know, what was it made the difference? Well, when we first turned up, we had a couple of guys in food trucks. Mm -hmm. I think it was a bit of sniggering, thinking, what, what are these cowboys doing? <laughs> not, not the drop button. Mm -hmm. But yeah, literally, you know, the machine itself, it, it draws a crowd. Yeah. We had people coming over specifically to look at the machine to see what yeah. it was we were doing on it. And just having that smaller footprint give us a lot more sort of service area at yeah. the front. Yeah. You know, all your, your lot at your space, that's it. Mm -hmm. Very restrictive mm -hmm. in a food mm -hmm. truck for mm -hmm. prep and stuff. We were able to set up food prep mm -hmm. tables, be working away, street master in the middle, service area mm -hmm. at the front. Mm -hmm. So those are kind of benefits that you don't automatically think of, really. Sure. Absolutely. The, the footprint's so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. It gives you actually space to do other things. Uh, and as you say, the theater. Yeah. The, the theater is drawing people to an authentic. For us, the theater is a big, yeah. big part. You know, yeah. now we play about with it, but we, we drop pork down so as you get the flare ups yeah. and people look and go, oh, wow, what's that? And, Absolutely. You know, and yeah. it's a showpiece. Absolutely. Like, the True Blizzard itself is an absolute showpiece. Yeah. So let's just, let's just go through a wee list of what you did. So, so uh, let's, let's go through what, what you did. You also did a pile of um, sweet corn, is that right? Yep. So, so let's, let's go through it. What did you do? So we did 100 odd kilo of brisket. 140 kilo barbecue pulled pork, 50 kilo chicken wings, 
200 kilo, give or take, of corn to cob, uh, 80 kilo of wedges. So, so portion wise, I honestly can't even fall from how many. Well, that all adds up to exactly a lot of kilos. <laughs> and I think, you know, it would be quite interesting to, to we'll do the numbers afterwards. That's a serious amount of food over four days Absolutely. out of one small machine. Yep. You know, you must have been a fairly happy guy and a very tired guy at the end of it. Very tired guy. <laughs> <laughs> happy now I've had a chance to look back and realize what we've achieved. Absolutely. Honestly, it wasn't even at its full peak. Yeah. We could have done more. Wow. So we could have, and that's being wow. honest, wow. you know, the machine's phenomenal. Yeah. So it is. That's fantastic. So obviously, you know, we get a lot of people just inquiring about, the trailblazer and one of the things that we find is that when we're talking to them and we're sort of trying to tell them the stories that we hear which is like your story people actually find it hard to believe to the point where i sort of think they think we're swinging a lead or or exaggerating yep but really what you're saying is that's not the case absolutely come along to bum on next year you'll see it in action <laughs> see it in action absolutely. absolutely the only one thing i'm disappointed in is I didn't get to taste any of that, so I don't know whether I believe you or not. <laughs> you can be making this all up. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we do. We know it's, it is a fact, and uh, and that's one one show, you know, with one hundred twenty thousand people there. Uh, so honestly, that is very exciting. It, for, from our point of view, it's just a thrill to find out that you're doing so yeah. well with it because it means you'll probably buy another one off us. You know, we're looking so on the whole all right, so we are. <laughs> and that big 1200 stream master is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, look, honestly, Dal, your star, thank you very much for coming along. And, guys, just hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll, bring, be, we'll be bringing somebody in in another few weeks' time to talk about a different aspect of how they do their business. But enjoy it, take it on board, think about possibly how you think you could relate to your environment that you work in. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.